a lot of shit has happened. Tory shot Meg Thee Stallion in the fucking toe. I said that last week. And the story has unfolded, guys. This just in, Adam22 said that uh, uh, Tory, was, Tory shot Meg because Meg was beating his little ass because Tory was flirting with Kylie. Now, Can this, I say this? Yeah, go ahead, bro. I was right. He called it. He I called, called it. it. Listen, mm-hmm. dog, listen. Depending on how you want to look at the threesome part, uh-huh. depending on what <laughs> lens you want to look at that, uh-huh. I was right. Julius Rock said last week that Tori was asking for a threesome with Kylie and Meg, and Meg was like, what the fuck, nigga? Are you kidding me? Are you shitting me? And that's when he started, that's when she started beating her his little ass, and that's when he had to pull out the piece and shoot her in the toe. Now, Charlie, you date short niggas, am I correct? I sure don't. No, no, I've seen you with like a 5'2". Never, wow. never, ever. Five one. Meg is about 5'10", so the fact that she was even messing with Tori, like, I don't believe he was fucking her. Like, she had to be fucking him because it just doesn't oh. make any sense. Like, look like at a him. big situation? <laughs> like, I, I mean, you know, she's just so big. Like, I just, I don't really see yeah. how that would work. Well, uh, I'm assuming it's almost like a like you ever see a kangaroo and his daughter, like his oh pet. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Maybe yeah. it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Like Yo, you ever yeah, seen like, you, you ever yeah, seen the wrestler in WWE lift up like the Big Show or Brock yeah. like, like, the small nigga? It's probably like that. Like the yeah, yeah. It's remember, weird. remember when China beat Jeff Jarrett? Yep, <laughs> it's kind of like that for the championship. It's like, <laughs> it's like it's like a B beating up like a, a lowercase I or some shit like that. It's like weird, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, what? So so is Tori like really done? Like, is this it? Is this the death knell in his career? I don't think so because they're still playing him on the radio and like people still you know wishing him the best. And I mean, look at Chris Brown. Chris Brown bounced back. We still listen to R. Kelly. Oh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. He's in jail. That's different. That's different. You think that's different? Yes. Okay, R. Kelly's Chris ain't a shooter, case. you know. R. Kelly's Chris ain't a shooter. Shooter. But Chris Brown, for example. Yeah. He redeemed himself and now he's, you know, back yeah. in our good graces. So that's, I don't think that's... That's 2009, though. That's 2009. This is 2020. 2020. He shot him up. But I, honestly, I haven't seen much people... You know, reprimanding Tory for his actions. I've seen more memes and people making fun of the situation. That, that nigga going to jail. <laughs> that nigga going to prison. <laughs> also, also, <laughs> remember when we played football? Coach Edder, he would say, I forgot exactly what he would say, but mm-hmm. he, would, but basically, what he was telling us was, you know, if you're good, we'll excuse the bullshit that you do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So basically, like, uh, you saying Tory got to put out a chicks tape five? Yeah, chicks tape some. six got to have like some classic music up there. If not, he's going. You know, they canceling this nigga. No, this nigga going you know, to jail anyway. He's a like he already got caught with a gun charge. This is second gun charge. Like the nigga's know, going to jail. He fucking away. R. He, Kelly, yeah. man, we gotta get rid of R. Kelly. You know, we don't fuck with R. Kelly. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But he made Wait. ignition, and niggas love that nigga. I don't know why. Wait, this is second gun charge. Yeah, is it in America? I don't I, I think so. <laughs> it's gotta be a man. Niggas don't carry guns in Canada. This shit is unnecessary. <laughs> they just duel. <laughs> so so this nigga's going to jail, basically, is what you say. If, if if they piece this, so you know, it's a narrative out here that Meg snitch on the nigga, which I don't give a fuck. I mean, you don't, you don't uh, shoot uh, Oh no, 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 no. They was talking about when she came on uh when she got on Twitter and all yeah, that yeah. Stuff. They were saying she, she was, snitched she was snitching, them. yeah. Yeah. Yo, let me ask y'all. Let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. Yo, listen. Did, all right. Did, did y'all feel what Drea said was foul? Talk to me, Charlie. Put yourself uh, in Meg's shoes. I, I feel like Drea was was desperately trying to make a you know joke, and she thought it was cute in the moment. But I, I think I think it's it's not cute because Drea is way too old to be making jokes like that. Yeah, thirty five. Thirty five. Thirty five. So to be oh, wanting a, a relationship that toxic. When you're pushing forty, is a little bit strange. Yeah, but, and she and Meg like know each other. Like they've hung out. I don't know if they're close friends, but they've hung out. I guess they were following each other at one point. Um, no, they're not. Well, she, um, well, Meg's not following Dre. I've definitely uh, did my research, but yeah. Dre is still following her. So I, I feel like it was a little bit Cross the weird, line. Per se, but I, I get it. She's just trying to, desperately to be funny and you know get a sound bite, and she thought it was funny at the time, but. It was definitely mm-hmm. inappropriate, but I but she apologized though. So. 
Hey, I want to say this. I'm the one that cuts all, all the, the videos for these things. So I'm not going to cut this part. That Dre shit was the hottest shit I've ever heard in my life. That shit, <laughs> that, shit, that shit gave me passion. That gave me a fire inside my soul. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I feel it. But I get what she was saying, though. What she's saying is, like, to me, this is what I think she was saying. When a nigga has options, or when anybody has options, it's usually, like, the first sign of trouble, you cut and run. What she was saying is she wants a nigga that's going to be like, nah, I'm not running. We're going to figure this out. Now, the figuring out part is getting shot. I don't know if maybe that's what she kind of wants. You know no, what I mean? No, seriously. That's what seriously. she said. She said, shoot me in the foot is what she said. Yeah, yeah shoot she, her. But that's what all women want. All women love that toxic shit. No, I don't want to get shot toxic. Like, you know. You don't, you don't want to get shot to toxic, but you don't, I don't think you'll find a gun raised. Like, like, you just want to see the gun. Some women just want to see the gun. A gun raised. Yeah. No, but seriously, some women just want to see the gun. They don't want you to pull it out and cock it back and shoot it at them. But women love that thrill of almost dying. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Charlie, you're from, Charlie, you're from uh, Brooklyn. How many of your uh, suitors have pulled guns on you? <laughs> no. Like five? <laughs> Seven. Show you a but gun. I have been threatened many times. Okay. How were you threatened? I had some dude tell me he was going to send the goons on me. Like, I, I dated some uh, crazy dude that would threaten me all the time. Women love that type of shit. I don't know why. No. Yeah. I get it. Like, we like the thrill and the excitement and the passion, but not, we want, you know what I mean? Like, we might want to die, but we don't want to lose a foot. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... <laughs> No, you know what Drea want? Drea wants somebody that's gonna that's going to love her enough to when she says no, I'm walking out the house. That's gonna drag her. It's by gonna her tell her back is up exactly and exactly. drag her back in the fucking house, and that's true love. Oh, women are fucking nuts, man. That's the <laughs> they're not nuts. They're not nuts. It's it's the leadership thing. Like they want somebody that's gonna take charge of the situation. Mm -hmm. Problem with Tory Lanez is there's literally no way he could take charge of Meg's situation no outside way. of shooting her. You know what I mean? Like he had to literally have the hammer on him. I kind of pull it out and squeeze. You know, I don't condone what he did, but I kind of understand. Cause you I know, fuck that nigga, man. Oh. Listen, listen, I agree, I agree. <laughs> but you know, and, and my my man Junius Rock, I'm sure you can attest to this. When we were growing up, everybody yeah. said, "I'm not fighting you, I'm shooting you." Okay, is that, is that not correct? That's Meg, male on male listen, shit, and that's and we understand that. But Meg is also six eight. You know, oh, okay. So Tori is like, I can't, I can't drag this bitch back in the house. Yo, I gotta yo, shoot her. You know, my foot. issue is with Tori, bro. This is my issue. Right. This is I my agree, yeah. Yes, did he shoot Meg? Yes, I, I think that's horrible. But mm. I don't get no more IG ass clapping because of that fucking nigga. Well, somebody will take over. What happened no, to Dean? Uh, oh. No, it ain't the same, uh, bro. It's the same. Julie, Julius Rock got a mic and he is on fire today, boy. This nigga is you know I mean? That nigga done shut down the best rapper alive for fucking nonsense. So no, I'm holding that nigga accountable. That's, That's a fact. That is a true, that is a true, true statement. I mean, and she was clapping he is ass. The best rapper alive, yeah. She was clapping ass in a pool. She had a friend. She had the, the other thicky chick. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Now she's, she's like going to be scared to come out the house. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, that's your, you know, she, your toes are the, the foundation of the ass clapping. That's true. So if your yeah. toes and is fucked you can, up, you can you're grip. not going to be able to clap. Yeah, you have to grip. I don't think that's. <laughs> that is. It's, it's the toes. It's the base. Yeah. The base. You gotta have a... her, her balance oh. is going to be off. <laughs> Mute that, mute that. She said, I'm not speaking from experience. But the matter of fact, I'm going to earmark all, all the reckless uh, stuff that she says. Put the bad boy reverse thing on it. So it sounds like, you, go, you, you, you know what I mean? All right. I want to deal with this shit today. All right. Uh, so bet, so bet, so bet. Y'all want to move on? Let's move on. Uh, what was the next shit we needed to talk about?